So for those of you who are subscribed for a while, may remember the video I made about the history of this channel. Why I started it and uh, how it all came about and uh, when I started to gain a few viewers and stuff like that. I talked about that in a video, I think, um, because of the 500th video I uploaded or something like that. Maybe it was 250 subscribers, to be honest, I don't remember right now. No, wait, Klan uh, Katawa Shoujo was the 250 subscriber special. Okay, then it was probably my 500th video uploaded. Point is, point is, I already talked once about the history of this channel. And um, what I didn't, what I didn't really talk about was the struggle. In a, in a few places I hinted at it, I mentioned that I once planned to uh, stop playing, uh, stop let's playing overall and stuff like that. But um, there's, there's actually quite a bit to uh, the story and I want to talk about the story today. And uh, if you listen until the end to the story, you will also find out why I was uh, missing for the last week. So I guess that would be interesting for you. So, here we go. Before you listen, I want to warn you though. What I'm going to talk about will probably come off as self-pity. And to be honest, it probably also actually is. When I started this Let's Play channel, I was probably at the worst place in my life, metaphorically speaking. I've never been a happy-go-lucky guy or anything, but uh, at the time when I started my Let's Play channel, I've actually been like, like a real mess, you know. So I thought about my strengths and weaknesses and uh, what I can do and what I can't do. For example, I can't be a wrestler <laughs> because I'm unathletic as shit. Actually, when I was 14, I actually wanted to become a wrestler, but that's another story. Uh, I can't be a writer because my writing is shit, or at least I I think so, but you know. Uh, anyway, um, so, but what I can objectively say, what I always could do rather well is uh, talking, uh, keeping a conversation going, you know, stuff like that, and um, analyzing stuff. So I I thought to myself, why don't you let's play? You know, you, you watch so much let's play stuff on YouTube. Why don't you try it for yourself? So I bought myself Bandicam and a headset with the shittiest microphone of all time and I started to let's play. Now the first thing I had to decide is, do I let's play in German or do I let's play in English? Both has its pro and cons. In German I can obviously talk in my mother tongue. Uh, in English I have a broader audience. In German, I have less competition, you know, it all had its pro and cons. But in the end, I decided to let's play in English, basically because I thought, you know, broader audience, maybe more people will come, which probably isn't true now that uh, I'm doing this for nearly two years. But you know, th that is what I thought at this point of time. So I started let's playing, obviously with my uh, shitty headphone microphone, because I'm an idiot. Like... What what did I think would happen? Like, this was quality-wise so subpar. On the other hand, to be honest, when I, when I started out in the very beginning, when I started out, I just wanted to do it. When I actually started out, I just wanted to do it, and for pff, the first two months or something, I didn't even care that nobody watched it. Like, for, that only lasted, like, the first two months, but uh, then it got frustrating. But in the beginning, I just wanted to do it, you know. But after a few months, it got really frustrating. And to be honest, and to prove that I'm stupid, at that time, I didn't understand why nobody watched my videos. I mean, now I can understand it. But back then, I couldn't for some reason. I had a shitty mic. I um, had a very unenthusiastic, unenthusiastic way of uh, commenting a video game. And I didn't do thumbnails. Although, to be honest, to this day, I do not understand the importance of thumbnails. I mean, I know people click videos for thumbnails. I understand that. I understand the fact. I don't understand the people who do that. Like, when, when uh, PewDiePie photoshops his head under a duck, the video gets two times the clicks and stuff like that. That is... A mystery to me. Like, 
And it, I don't know. And it's not really the time to talk about that. But you know, you know what I'm saying. But at the time, I didn't grasp the concept of YouTube as a whole, basically. And then I finally got the glorious idea to buy a good microphone. And uh, I'm using this microphone up until today. And it's actually really a good microphone. Like not in a audio studio way, but for for my room where I'm sitting, it's really a good microphone, you know? Also, different than the Blue Yeti, I, or Yeti, or however you pronounce that, you know, the mic everybody uses. <laughs> uh, other than that microphone, it doesn't record every tiny noise. Like when you record with the Blue Yeti and you tap your feet on the floor very lightly, the fucker will have like an intermission noise or something that is unbearable. It's crazy. Anyhow. And shortly after buying this mic, I quit my YouTube channel for the first time. So, um, <laughs> it's a weird point of time to do that, isn't it? But uh, it actually had nothing to do with the mic or anything. Uh, it was just for the fact that I was really, really down at the time. And, um, you know, nobody watched, nobody watched my videos anyway. Which is a stupid thought at the point of time where you just bought a new microphone and you might ch change things over and people might start to watch. It's a weird time to stop, but you know, that is how you think when you're really down and you're hating, basically you're hating yourself. That is the kind of stuff you think. And um, yeah, so I stopped the first time for about a month. Okay, I just looked it up and I didn't quit for one month. I actually quit for five complete months, which is crazy. I don't remember it being that long. But uh, yeah, after five months of uh, me being self-pity, I guess, with my Let's Play channel, I decided to uh, restart. And uh, I had a proper mic still. I used the proper m settings of the proper mic, which I didn't before I had my break. I actually did, w I, I think I did one complete Let's Play, a bird story. Although I don't know if I even finished that uh, with my with my new mic, but I had such sh shitty settings that it still sounded like ass. But uh, yeah, my first proper let's play was uh, Grey Fox. I did a thumbnail for that game, although the thumb thumbnail was uh, pretty bad because I, at that point of time, I didn't know how to use Paint.net, which I do now, but at that time I didn't. So a shitty thumbnail. Uh, a proper microphone and a shitty commenti commenting, but at least we're getting somewhere, right? So I was I was kind of proud when I restarted, to be honest. But still, nobody watched my videos because they were still not good, and I can blame people for that, really. For example, look at my Let's Play of Grey Fox if you have nothing better to do. I mean, the audio quality quality is kind of okay-ish, but. Uh, Except for that, there is not much to what I do, you know? Um, and the only feedback I got was from a place called our Let's Play, a subreddit. And I always got very shitty feedback. Shout out to our Let's Play. A lot of people at our Let's Play are really fucking assholes. Um, not all of them, though, to be fair. Uh, with tef Go when you have problem with technical stuff. Go to our Let's Play. There are many people willing to help. If you look for improvement in something uh, concerning your Let's Plays, all they know is uh, you're not funny and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, there was one particular person who really took a Let's Play of mine apart. And now, this may come as a surprise to you, because I'm always, you know, I am how I am, like I'm critical and her and who and here and there, but I don't have that much of self-confidence sometimes and that that hurt me so bad that really that hurt me so bad and i know it's oh, it's so fucking dumb like that is something i would complain about when i read it in a visual novel you know tomoya stops doing what he likes because someone criticized him tomoya you asshole well, i was what i probably would say but i quit over that for about one and a half months and then i finally got the thought man you quit over a bad criticism Man, fuck you, you bitch. And I restarted the uh, Let's Playing. But, you know, it was, it was a tough time. 
I got no feedback from viewers and uh, feedback I got from, from the only place where I got feedback from always only shit on me. And then a few months, no, not actually a few months, only a few weeks after my second restart, uh, something very good happened. Actually, nearly at the same time. I started playing Everlasting Summer and I pl started playing Wizard of White Box. Now, I already explained that in the history of my channel video, but just to repeat it very shortly, uh, Everlasting Summer got me uh, quite a bit of Russian viewership and Wizard of White Box got me quite a few of RPG Maker fans viewership. And that was like the actual, the, the first good thing that ever happened uh, to my Let's Play channel. And from then on, actually quite a few good things happened to my Let's Play channel. Like, for example, Moonworks shouting me out and stuff like that. I, I'll leave a link to my uh, history of my channel video down in the description below if you want to listen to the t uh, their more details and stuff like that. At least I think so. Now that I talked about all the hardship I had, especially in the beginning, and that I remember all the good stuff that actually happened to my channel, it feels kind of dumb going on complaining. <laughs> Uh, but that's what I'm going to do, so bear with me, people. Because, to be honest, in the, I don't know, in the last month, the last two months, I, 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 I struggled a bit with the channel and stuff, you know. For example, I see channels left and right growing and growing and growing. And this channel over here stays relatively the same size. I get no new subscribers from out of nowhere like other channels. Basically, always when I play a new game or something like that, I get new subscribers. A lot of them never return after I finish the game and stuff like that. And the view counts overall basically stay the same. It's it's frustrating sometimes, you know. Don't get me wrong, though. There is also a lot of stuff that is on me. For example, we have bad view times. That is because I make super fucking long episodes. But... On the one uh, that has also reasons, for example, with visual novels and RPG Maker games, we will never ever finish anything if we make short episodes, you know. Also, Let's Plays with short episodes that have like a story-heavy game are usually shit, but that is just, you know, my personal opinion. Or for example, I haven't played an enjoyable game in quite some time. I think the last game I really, really enjoyed was White Sky, and this was a few months ago. Now, Corpse Party is, is at least interesting. Uh, I'm actually kind of interested in seeing how the, all of this plays out, but um, otherwise, like Lucid Nine seems to be, to be honest, a, a bit dumb as of now. We will see. I guess it's too early to judge, but like the last Lucid Nine video, like gave me like a like a serious headache, a serious headache, and um, Clannard right now, Clannard just bores me to death. The after story bores me to death. Uh, Clannard. Oh man, Clannard. Okay, Clannard people, I, you must be strong now, because I'm going to complain about Clannard now. All that ever happens in the after story is, Tomoya and Nagisa were going to do this together. Then A, A happens, and Nagisa and Tomoya say, we can do this together. Then B happens. And Tomoya and Nagisa say we can do this together, and C happens. Nagisa and Tomoya, we can do this together. They... They... It's it's really like they, they, they seem like the weirdest couple in the world, because they never actually have normal conversations. Like, they have no normal conversations. The only conversation they are having is, um... We can do this together. And, uh... I like you watching while you're cooking. And I know this is this is an exaggeration, but let's take for example a, a visual novel. And I know it's not from Japan, and you know, still it's it's w way better storytelling. But we not storytelling, but it makes the feeling way better. In Katawa Shoujo, there are so many like little talks, like Lily. Your uh, Lily says, "I'm blind, and I imagine the colors to be like this and that." You know, little stuff. You know. Stuff that you also would talk about with 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 the person you like, you know, you don't always just talk about how you can do this together and stuff like that. From time to time, you're also normal people, and this is this is such a big flaw in Clannard overall. 
no, at least nearly no route made you feel like these characters could be actual human beings. Nobody seemed natural. Nearly nobody. Like, the closest the closest we got was in the Kotomi route, and there was no romance invo involved, which makes me think the writer of Klanat is uh, basically um, a shit writer at romance, which is kind of a problem. But, uh, you know, the, the part, the stuff I enjoyed most had no romance at all in it. For, ex for example, Kotomi or um, Foucault, you know, the, the, the non-romance parts. Like, the romance parts are often so weak and unnatural, it makes me crazy. Or in this case, just really, really bored. And then I try to swallow it down because I know everybody gets upset when I say something negative about Klanat that involves a beloved part, like the after story. Okay, let's finally stop this fucking whining fest. I, I start to go on my own nerves by now. So let's let's stop this here and come to a conclusion. There are many different YouTube channels around in my niche, in the RPG maker visual novel niche. There are the ones who play Nikopara and Sakura, what is just the newest game, Sakura Swimsuit, Spirit, Beach, Asshole, Titties, I don't know. Uh, there are those who play that kind of stuff and uh, basically are like, haha, Tsundare, yandare, desune, kawaii, look at that opai, you know, and like really mean it. There are those, and they're usually the most successful ones, but hey, who am I to judge? There are the fake cries who make a deep voice and act really intrigued into the game. They are also, you know, kind of entertaining, I guess. Now, of course, they're not only chit channels, don't get me wrong. There is some, for example, channels like Mandy Baddest Hero, who does a great job at, you know, his kind of style, not talking all that much during the play, while playing, you know, making his kind of dry jokes and stuff like that, and in the end doing an analysis of the game. And uh, yeah, that is actually a, a very cool thing. And there are other channels, for example, that is actually a German channel, but, uh, you know, uh, Nesfata LP. Uh, like, her channel is so awesome because, you know, she is likable and she makes the viewing experience enjoyable. The, you know, you feel like you're playing with a friend, is what I want to say. And that is also a kind of let's play I, en I can enjoy. And I always thought my place is in between those two styles. You know, in between the more serious approach and the more uh, I'm the si friend sitting on your couch approach. I try to comment, uh, commentate on stuff and try to make the viewing of the gameplay enjoyable while I talk about stuff. And at the same time, when it's appropriate, I do analysis and stuff of the story and of character development, of game mechanics and stuff like that. I always thought that I would have would have a place somewhere in between. Because to be honest, I, I know Let's Players who do one or the others, but not many who, you know, try to do stuff on both ends, you know. But sometimes I lose that feeling and um, I lose in an inner battle, if you will, to my own self-confidence and I feel like I don't belong at all anywhere on uh, YouTube and sometimes in general. Now for the larger part of last week I was sick, but um, I was not that sick that I could pro couldn't record. At least from uh, at least from Wednesday on, I was I was just so down, and it's so dumb that I'm so down sometimes, you know. But I, I, at that point, I don't know. I couldn't help it, and I apologize that I didn't upload anything in the last week. And I, I feel actually I feel really better now that I got all these problems out of my system, and uh, you know I could talk about it a bit because that was really. That is heavy on your shoulders, you know. When you when you feel like uh, there's nothing worse than feeling like a failure, you know. There's nothing worse than feeling like a failure. There probably is something worse, like being tortured or stuff. But <laughs> you know, you get what I'm saying. And uh, sometimes, sometimes this channel feels like a failure, you know, like my personal failure. <sighs> so anyway, I. Uh, 
I will record new stuff tomorrow. And I still have two Cops Party episodes, I think, left. So in the next few days, uh, I think at least on, on Wednesday, stuff should come up again. And this time, this time, last time I said uh, Sunday will come back on, uh, episodes will come back on Sunday. But then I got ill. So this time it's legitimate. At least at Wednesday new stuff will come up. Maybe already on Monday or Tuesday. We will see. But uh, yeah. Look out for that. And I... Don't don't get me wrong about all this uh, rant stuff. You know. Uh, that, that, that people watch my videos. And that people comment and stuff like that. Even the... Uh, even though I just now complained about so much stuff on this channel. It's still every time... I gain a new subscriber and every time I get a comment that really makes my day. Just today I think I got a real nice comment on my um on my her tears uh what is the name of the game again? The last game of Nom Nom Nami. Something with her tears and cry or something like that. Her tears show me the way or something like that. Um I I got a nice comment on that video that um thanked me for taking the game seriously and not making a haha -ha, shit show lesbians yuri shit show out of it or just being like what the hell about actually taking the game seriously praising it for its story and mechanics and stuff uh that that comment made me really happy for example and all you people who are always um talking to me in clannard and stuff uh that that also always makes me happy um Except when people are angry with me because I have a different opinion than them. Uh, so yeah, it's, overall, a lot of this stuff, you know, even though I sometimes have the feeling that I'm, I'm not worth doing this, you know, that doesn't have anything to do with uh, how much I appreciate uh, you people supporting this channel, you know. It has nothing that I that I that I have low self confidence. It has nothing to do with um, with you. So now that I got that out of my system, I probably need to punch a wall for a few minutes to feel manly again, because right now I feel like a bitch, <laughs> but like a good bitch because, as mentioned, I needed to get that out of my system really badly. And uh, yeah, as mentioned, I hope you will come back for new stuff next week. So, thank you everybody for watching, if you actually watched that. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you then. Bye bye.